Let's go ahead and get started with a centering practice. So finding yourself in comfortable cross legs or letting your legs extend out in front of you. Sit up nice and tall in your body. Draw your shoulder blades together at the center of your back. And let's drop in. So bringing your awareness to your breath, take a long, deep inhale. Full, deep exhale. Drop your chin to your chest. We're just going to loosen up the neck here. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, let the right ear fall over to the right shoulder. Inhale, lift the head back on top of the neck. Exhale, take the left ear to the left shoulder. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, bring the chin back to the chest. Inhale, lift the head back on top of the neck. Exhale at the top. Touch your shoulders, touch your ears. Drop your hands to the side of your body. Shoulder circles next. Inhale, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, rotate and roll your shoulders down your back. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, extend your arms out to the T like you're pressing the walls away from you. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, take the right hand down towards the ground. Sweep the left arm. As we practice, I just want you to notice the distraction of the mind, the way it wants to wander. And as it does it, bring it back to focus on the breath. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sweep the hand over. So as much as it's a body practice, it's also a mind practice. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the knees. Rainbow spine here. Inhale, draw your shoulder blades together. Gaze up. Exhale, chin to chest, round your spine. Two, inhale, draw your shoulder blades together. Gaze up. Exhale, and round your spine. Inhale, we're going to come back up into a nice tall body. Coming onto our hands and knees, facing forward on your mat. So really think about letting the breath be what moves your body. Let the tops of the feet go flat. We're going to move through a pattern here. As you inhale, you're going to drop your belly, draw your shoulder blades together. As you exhale, round your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. You're going to press back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out, coming back onto the knees. Press back, you're going to your child's pose. So when you go back to child's pose, if this feels really intense on the tops of the legs or the hamstrings or even the tops of the feet, you can always stay up here on the forearms. So do what feels best in your body. And again, really allowing the focus to be on the breath and the movement. Again, table, cow, cat, dog, table, press back, warming the body up. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's go ahead and do that again. Table, cow, cat, dog, table, and rock. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Very good. Coming back to your hands and knees. Retuck your toes. Come back to downward facing dog. We're going to be here for five breaths. So maybe you want to bend your knees side to side. You want to look underneath your arms. Do whatever feels right for you and your body in this moment. And really connecting to those full deep inhalations, full deep exhalations. Looking forward towards your fingers, slowly walk your feet to the back of your hands. Once your feet make it to the back of the hands, tuck your chin to your chest, bend your knees slightly. We're going to roll all the way up. Let the head be last. Good. Welcome to your body. Here we are. Let's face the side of our yoga mat. So turning your body to the side of your mat. We're going to step our legs out so that we're in star pose. Make sure when you step your legs out, they're an entire leg's distance apart. Let your toes face the side of the mat. Inhale, stretch your arms out to a T. Take a deep breath in here. Deep breath out. 
Very good. We're going to move into a leg and hip strengthening sequence next. Turning your right foot to face the front of the mat, left foot faces the side of the mat. Keep your hips nice and square to the side of the mat. We're going to bend into our front knee, so really feeling the strength of your inner thigh. Back side of the knee tracks the third and fourth toe. Stay here with your arms on your hips, or inhale, extend your arms out to a T. So again, find the softness. Let your inner body be strong, your outer Outer body be soft and breathe. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're going to reverse the warrior. You are going to bring your hand to your back, turn your palm up, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, find the upper back bend. Draw the shoulders on the back leg. You're reaching up towards the ceiling, bend a little bit deeper into your front knee. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Stay with your breath. I know it's intense. Take a deep breath in, extended side angle. Forearm onto the leg. Take the arm straight up, or you can reach your arm up and over. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Good. Reaching up, inhale, exhale, and release. Turning the right foot in to meet the left. Bring your hand to your heart, your hand to your belly. Take a full deep breath in, deep breath out. So just notice when I asked you to get really intense with the sensations in your body, where did your mind go? As we move to the left side, really try to keep the mind from the wander and keep the focus right on the edge of the breath. Here we go. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, hands to the hips, turn the left foot out, keep the right foot facing the side of the mat. Shoulder blades on the back, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, bend into the front knee. Extend the arms to a T. Solid, strong inside body, soft and gentle outside body. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Here we go, taking Right hand to the back, left palm turns up. Sweep up, bend a little bit deeper. Don't lose the bend in the front knee, inhale. Exhale, elbow to the knee, palm faces up. Arm can go straight up or really find the extension of the arm. Take a full deep breath in, deep breath out. And then inhale, we're gonna come up. Exhale and release, beautiful. Turning the foot in, hand to heart, hand to belly. Connect back to your breath. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Very good, bringing the hands to the side of the body, turning the foot forward to face the front of the mat. Stepping back to mountain pose. Inhale, we're going to sweep our arms up. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. Place the hands to the shins. Inhale, press into your shins, shoulder blades together, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees a lot. We're going to step back, we're going to high plank. So bringing the shoulders over the wrist, press back through your heels, working the core here, navel tight. Breathe for five. Four, three, two, one. We're going to lower in five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Let the tops of the feet go flat. Bring the hands to the side of the body. Rest the ear on the mat. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Very good. And then bringing your chin forward, bringing the hands to the side of the body. Cobra pose is next. You're gonna draw the elbows towards one another, stretching through the legs. You're going to inhale, come up into cobra, breathe, soften your bottom for three, two, one, exhale and release. We're gonna come up to the hands and knees, press ourselves back into child's pose. Take a full deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. 
Very good. Looking up to your hands, we're going to come up to the hands and knees, crossing the ankles underneath of us. Coming forward, we're going to do a seated twist here. Inhaling, reaching the arms up. You're going to take your left hand to your right knee, your right hand behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist and look over your shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, stretch your arms up, taking your right hand to your left knee, your left hand behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale and twist, look over your shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down to your knees. Coming onto your back. So as you come onto your back, we're gonna do some work here to bring your energy down. Take the feet as wide as the mat and then let your knees touch together. And just for a moment, extend your arms out to a T. We're going to windshield wiper the legs. And then bringing the knees back to touch, working on the hips, you're gonna take your right foot to the top of the left knee. This may be enough of a stretch for you. Wanting a deeper stretch, lifting the foot off of the floor, you're going to take the right hand through and either top of the knee or underneath of the knee. So the action here is that you're drawing the knee in, uh, the left knee in as you're pressing your right knee away and you're breathing, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then go ahead, put the foot down. We're gonna switch. So now the, the right knee is bent and the left foot comes up. Again, this may be enough of a stretch for you here. Wanting to move deeper, lift the foot. You can take underneath of or top of the knee. Action on this side is that you're pulling the right knee towards you, pressing the left knee away. And breathe, deep breath in, deep breath out. Very good, placing the foot down. We're gonna go ahead and let both of the feet be flat here. Taking the knees to touch, extending your arms out to a T, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, let's let the knees drop over towards the right side. If it's comfortable for you, you can straighten the underneath leg, which should be your right leg, and the left knee's dropping over. Take a deep breath in here, pointing through that left toe, deep breath out. And then inhale, you're going to bring the knees back and we're gonna drop over to the left. So you can keep the knees stacked or you can extend the left leg pointing through the toe, Right knees bent, take a deep breath in. Try to keep the shoulders flat on the ground here. Really feeling that twist right through the center of your body. That's it. And then inhale, we're gonna bring the, both of the knees up. You can hold underneath of the knees or on top of the knees. I'm gonna invite you to roll your ankles in one direction. So as basketball players, you have a ton of high impact on the feet, rolling out the ankles is always a good idea. We did a lot of work with strength and flexibility in the legs and the hips and your shoulders, all areas prone to tightness as an athlete. And then wrist, take your wrist up, roll your wrist out, and roll the other way. Final stretch here. Reach through the toes, reach your arms up and overhead. Take a deep breath in here. And then breathing out, let's roll ourselves over onto our side. And then all the way back up to seated. Coming back to centering ourselves. Find your breath again. Take a long, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Try to soften the fingers, the jaw, the eyes, and let the focus be steady on the breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Going ahead, coming to completion, inhale, sweep the arms up, open the mouth, let the breath roll out the mouth. 
Thank you. Thank you.